So I said yesterday I'd do another video once I've sort of done the bed or started on the bed mounts. Um, fortunately I didn't get a video of it actually cutting them because I did it late last night and it was a bit dark in here so yeah I went to Bunnings yesterday and got a uh, 900 by 600 by 5 sheet of acrylic and as you can see there's I had to quite, cut quite a few of them out. Um, reason being is I need eight of the bearing blocks and four of the nut blocks and each block consists of three layers of acrylic so yeah I had to cut quite a few out also just been doing a bit of playing around as well of course <laughs> so yeah this sheet of acrylic was about $59 which is you know it's pretty expensive stuff but I've got a crap loads left I mean it'll last me quite a while um, I'm not bothering stocking up on colours or anything yet, uh, seeing as I'm moving to Kansas it'd just be a pain to transport, so just sort of getting what I need cut out and stuff like that. Yeah, heaps of little acrylic pellets. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is the result here. <coughs> as you can see I've got six bearings here. Um, I sort of miscounted so I need to get two more. Luckily these are sort of a common size so I should be able to get them locally. And these are the nut blocks. Which just, uh, the nuts aren't actually held in by anything seeing as because these will be on the threaded rod and these will be attached to the bed. The bed will be mounted across the top here. These will just sit on the threaded rods and that way if the bed ever needs adjusting you can simply lift the bed up, screw the nut around a bit and then just put it back down again and it'll sort of hold it there under its own weight so yeah it actually turned out quite well it's like pretty decent edge as well not that it really matters for these things I was kind of going for speed but you probably can't see it that well but the laser's sort of cutting on a slight angle um, reason for that is, is either the beam's not coming down at exactly 90 degrees and it's hitting the lens at an angle or my bed's not flat which is probably more likely so I'm not really worrying about that until I've got a proper bed, which is what these are for. Um, so yeah, these just hold the bearings and I've sort of designed everything to allow a bit of play uh, simply because um, the rods I'm using are just this cheap threaded stuff from Bunnings. And you know, it, they, I tried pretty hard to get like the straightest ones possible, but of course they're still gonna be you know, a bit of some of these nuts aren't even on center so yeah oh, this is the pulley as well that will be on them so what this will go like is um, so try and roll away one of these will go on here don't know which way around yet to figure that out one of those will go on there probably going to have another nut although it's probably not necessary since I'm going to have two on each side yeah, that'll go on there clamp that and then this pulley will be here clamp down as well and then you have one of these which will go along the rod you can see that how I've sort of got one layer with just a small enough hole to fit the rod through and then two other layers which actually retain the nut shape so that'll go on that rod like that and that'll raise the bed up and down but yeah just been you know apart from that playing around uh, I've got to get some steel, which I'll probably do on Saturday, as well as the other bearings, so I'm cutting out a bit of random stuff. And these are really cool. Um, it's just Australia shapes. Poor old Tasmania got cut off the bottom, but there wasn't really any way of attaching it there, so I just did these. And this one with an engraving on it of the flag. It actually turned out really quite well. The edges are pretty clean too. You can still see a few lines in there, but no, not. This is pretty thick stuff for the power of the laser I'm using, so I'm not really complaining at all. Quite happy with it. <coughs> Eventually, I will upgrade to something a bit more decent. Um, so you can see the 40 watt tube. I mean, there's heaps of room along here. I could probably fit a 100 watt tube in there easy. So, yeah, I'll do that eventually. It's quite an expensive upgrade, so. Um, and as I was cutting out those mounts, I found the laser performance drops off pretty badly above about 25 degrees C. So I had to ditch that saucepan and use this little chiller I've got here, which I've got set on 10 degrees. Um, it can't quite keep up with this laser, 
so I sort of had to cut out about eight or six or eight of them and then stop it and let it cool back down again but um, yeah apart from that it works pretty well see the temperature gauge down there yeah um, so yeah apart from that it's basically all I've been doing so I'll probably go get some steel to make the bed on Saturday and then hopefully you know, weld that up and mount all these on and, and all that sort of stuff so yeah thanks for watching and I'll do another video probably on the weekend